Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ameya, and today we are going to see our next video in our SolidWorks VBA series. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to change or set units of the active document using Excel. So that is what we are trying to do in this video series. We are trying to control various small small things or the commands uh, using excel vba with the solidworks so what i have done here is i have created one basic sheet where you can uh, set the units of the component and the set unit button i have inserted using a developer tab and this data of integers of units i have taken from the reference of the solidworks api where sw unit system underscore enumeration so here you will get that data that one uh, represents the cgs system three represents the ips system all those things so i have taken that data and i will be using the these numbers to control my set unit options okay so i will go to edit assign macro and uh, i will say new macro and a vba just a second yeah let me just open a new vba assign macro yeah let me just create a new button say uh, units and say new and a new module will open and uh, we'll start with the initialization we have seen everything this in the previous video so if you have not seen our previous videos you can get into those videos in the playlist i will attach link into the description so here we are trying to get variables for the initialization sld works dot sld works then we are getting one more variable as dim uh, sw document which we will use for the getting our documents sld works dot model doc 2 and uh, yeah i guess that uh, those variables are enough for our units change units option so we will initiate software first so get sw works so sw app uh, is equal to create object so this will open and it will keep SOLIDWORKS open. Um, SLD works dot application. This the space bar is not there. Then uh, we will use this as the active document. So SW app dot visible. I will check the visibility is equal to true and then i will set sw doc sw model is equal to sw app dot active doc so this will track my active document and it will keep on screen and then i will use a variable called set unit and it which will be used as an integer and then i will use simply a value which is from my cell d2 this value which i am reading and uh, sorry i will put that value into set unit so set unit is equal to range i will call that range d2 okay it's a single quote dot value and then I will use SW doc dot set user integer 
value uh, yeah that thing uh, into set unit SW unit system and I will put value as set units so whatever value of set unit is that will be used to get the values for the setting units for the SOLIDWORKS so let us try to run this if there is any error no uh, then I will make sure my SOLIDWORKS is open I have one document which is in MMGS system right now so let us test I have put everything into a list this list I have put it into one cell so you can select it from a cell so I will go for CGS system okay that will change my D2 to 1 I will say set units and yeah so it is giving me the error so I will debug it SLD works spelling mistake yeah then I will run it again and this changes my system to the CGS system. So you can check into units. There is a CGS system right now. Just to make sure it is working fine, I will change another unit which is IPS set units. And this should change units of your activate document to IPS. Yeah, so that's how you do.